I tell you what, I had a great childhood. Make no bones about it. Everything was violent. You know, on Saturday we used to watch wrestling. And on Sunday it was Sunday morning Kung Fu Theater. Channel 11. Let me tell you something. I don't think there's anything better than a Kung Fu movie. I put a Kung Fu movie up against any movie you got. I can my, one of my favorites of all time was was the Master of the Flying Guillotine. If you guys are new to Kung Fu, like you never really watched or, or whatnot, watch the Master of the Flying Guillotine. This is like the greatest movie ever made. It starts out this old master like. I think it starts out that this guy gets killed and it turns out that the guy that's killed has a master and he's an old man and he basically taught him all this karate. So naturally, you know, this guy, the master lives in the mountains, like all the way up at the top of a mountain in this house and he lives, I guess, a peaceful lifestyle other than the fact that he likes to throw his guillotine. I, you guys know anything about the flying guillotine? The, the, the flying guillotine is a weapon where you throw it and it lands on somebody's head and then you pull a chain and it just cuts their goddamn head off. And so this guy was a master of the flying guillotine. <laughs> the flying guillotine is an actual weapon. It was used during some dynasty in China or something like that. It's an actual weapon. There's a history to it. <laughs> Imagine getting, getting your head cut off by the flying guillotine. <laughs> How gruesome. So the guy lives up in the mountains, and I guess it, his, he practices his flying He doesn't practice. Like He goes outside to get a chicken or something like that. And he throws the guillotine and <laughs> cuts the chicken's head off, man. <sighs> oh, God. So the movie starts out like that. And then they send, like, a carrier pigeon up to him. And he reads, like, a little scroll off his foot or whatnot. He might have even cut the pigeon's head off and then took the note off his foot. And it says that his, you know, his student was killed by the one-armed boxer. So now, naturally, that means that he's got to avenge his student, you know? So the guy, almost as soon as he reads it, he wraps up like a small bag of things, throws it over his shoulders, he walks outside of the house and he throws something, and boom, torches his whole house. I mean, talk about, talk about no going back. I mean, imagine the mentality on a guy He's got to avenge somebody, so he just he just turns around and he, he torches his house. It's like, that's it. I got to go get this guy. I, I have nowhere to go. It's not like you can say, all right, well, I tried. I'll go back home now. It's not even an option anymore. So he goes into town and, oh, by the way, by the way, the guy that, the master that's throwing this guillotine, he's blind. So he goes into town, and now you can tell, you know, he hasn't been around people much or whatnot. He he's, doesn't have the best manners in the world. And he goes into a restaurant, and I forget what he, maybe he orders some soup or something like that. It's not important. And he's eating the soup, and he overhears somebody down on the lower level. Of the, it's like a, a restaurant with, like, it had, this, like, this weird, like, almost like opening in the middle and then there's tables around the top but it's open on the second floor that's not even important I don't know why I'm telling you that but he overhears a guy uh, is sitting in like ah you know I can kick that guy's ass he's talking to the waiter he's like I can kick that, that guy's ass with one arm and <laughs> The, guillot the, the master of the guillotine hears that. He only hears is like one arm. And all of a sudden he just launches his guillotine down and goes whoosh, and cuts the guy's head off. And <laughs> the shopkeeper comes running up. He's like, what are you doing? What are you doing? He's like, I'm here to kill the one-armed boxer. And he's like, that's not the one-armed boxer. That was just like, 
a guy talking about it, or he might even have been handicapped or something. Ah. And the guy goes, and the master says, Well, I don't care. I'll kill every one on man I meet. It reminds me of when I went to the hardware store once, and this old guy was looking for some, some part or something like that, or, or, or some screws. And he came around the aisle and he slipped and fell. And as he fell, he hit his head on the counter. Not hard, but, you know, just hard enough. And he got up and he starts punching the wall in anger like that. I guess he was upset that he fell. I guess he was embarrassed that people saw him fall. And he started punching the wall and then he walked away. And it was almost like that where he cut the guy's head off. And he didn't have any remorse for just killing an innocent man. And it was almost like... He couldn't say I'm sorry. He, he was just like, like I don't care, and I'll and I'll kill every man with one arm that I meet. And this guy was the best. So eventually, he winds up going to this, like, this, throughout the movie, he winds up cutting off a bunch of people. Anybody that gets in his way, he winds up cutting off their head. Until his final goal, he finds out the one on box is fighting in this enormous, like. Uh, karate tournament almost like the kumata the kumata before the kumata and uh he fights all these crazy guys these yoga guys with these long these long arms and whatnot i mean just watch watch master of the guillotine master of the flying guillotine you can't go wrong